Hi guys, today we're taking a look at a gaming mouse. So this particular one is from Rocat. This is the Burst Pro. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Get a quick installation guide. You get some replacement glides, and they say this is the world's first heat-treated glides. And looking on the back, 3M stickers on here. Coming onto the mouse, cable-wise, if I come in close, it's using a Phantom Flex cable for high performance. Length of the cable is 1.8 meters. You've got a cover covering the connector. If I take that off, USB type A connector on there, like a standard mouse. You've got a rubber tie here, taking that off, comes away separately, so it's not attached to the cable. Cable's very nice and flexible and not easy to get sort of kinks in there. The dimensions of the mouse are 120 millimeters by 58 millimeters and 38.7 millimeters. It weighs in at 68 grams. It has a honeycombed shell design, which showcases their Rocat AMO lighting. It's using the Titan Switch Optical on there, which Rocat claim is quicker and has a long durability with 100 million clicks on there. All matte black finish. At the side, you've got a bit of texture and same on the other side. Buttons, two here at the side, obviously a left and right. Then you've got your DPI button, scroll button, and obviously your scroll action on there. Large glide on here to give you a smooth experience with this. The sensor is the Rocat Owl Eye optical sensor with 16,000 DPI. It's based on the PMW3389, has an adjustable lift off distance, 30G acceleration, and 400 IPS maximum speed on there. There's onboard memory on the mouse as well. So anything you program via the app on your PC can be stored locally on the mouse using the Rocat Swarm software. Now, just to show how it holds in your hand, see for yourself, holding in this position with your hand stretched out. Still has a good comfortable feel. And then the claw grip where it sits into the palm of your hand. Even with that, it's nice and comfortable. And glide wise, even with this wooden surface, on any surface, you get a lot of glide out of this. Very nice and light, comfortable feel on this. The Titan Switch optical switches on here are very noisy. Now, if you were using the mouse without a headset on, it could be quite noticeable. Next, to show the amount of movement you need to give to initiate a click, see not much flex on the buttons, which is good, and minimal distance to initiate a click. Let's do a sound level test. I've got my sound level meter here. I've taken out my Logitech Pro Super Light, so we can compare the levels from the Rocat mouse to the Logitech one. As a side-by-side -side comparison with the Logitech Pro Superlight, you can see for yourself, slightly larger in terms of length, and the Rocat is slightly wider. I've shown the glide performance on a wooden surface, but the mouse is fine on any surface. This is a mouse map, so just to show on here, nice and smooth, very light, and again, even the cable is very light. The way the cable is, you can see, may require a mouse bungee. That would be useful to have as you're moving around. But nevertheless, performance is really good. The software to customize the mouse is the Rocat Swarm software. And it's just a matter of going to their support page, downloading and installing it. Once you've installed it, you'll be presented with this. You can see your different devices at the top here and AMO is the synchronization of the different lighting effects. So coming onto here, if you had multiple Rocat devices, you can get the colors on the device switching across. So you can see the colors here at the moment. Now coming onto the mouse, you can see all the customization available, lots available in there. And looking below, you've got different game profiles you can save as well. And then you've got button assignment, 
and all these can be changed via the options here. You can record macros as well and do basic functions, even multimedia changes from this as well. Standard sort of functionality you'd see. Now coming on to illumination, you can play about with the different color settings here. Let me demonstrate the different illuminations. At the moment, it's set on intelligent lighting system. If I drop that down, go to wave and we apply that. Let's flip over to fully lit. Heartbeat. Then we've got breathing. And then blinking. And with all the different types of illuminations, you've got different themes so you can change between different colors on here. And then going on to advanced, more customization available. So lots in there and very impressive the functionality you get. So what's it like while gaming? Comfort, really good fits nicely in your hand. Size-wise, I say it still has a good feel to it. Nice and comfortable while you're gaming and performance is good. I do prefer a lighter mouse. The glide's good on here as well. And accuracy is very good on here. So yeah, gaming-wise, really good gaming experience from this. So in summary, a great mouse glides across any surface with ease, nice and comfortable, very light in weight, and you don't feel really any drag from the cable on here. Only real irritation I found is the switches on there. The Titan switch opticals are a little bit noisy, but other than that, a great mouse comes in at around $49.99 in the UK. So I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Hang around for the end cards. I'll have a playlist showing more gaming videos. Drop me a like as it really does help the channel out. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.